Hello, hello, welcome back. This is Julie with Craft with Julie, and we are going to create some Valentine themed cards with the Now and Forever collection. Um, here are the 10 cards we're going to be creating. Oh, well, there is this one right here. And the classic Happy Valentines. This one I thought was just kind of a fun card, especially for those teens. And these cards right here. And they're using the, um, gosh dang it, I forget the words all the time, embroidered. <laughs> embroidered embellishments and then this one right here and we're going to be using the now and forever stamp set and thin cuts so you want to grab those here are the thin cuts I have my machine right here and then also the stamp set the now and forever stamp set Okay, and then you'll want to grab your pieces that you've already cut, hopefully. And we're going to be using the ink colors Desert Rose, Scarlet, Flamingo, and Ballerina. And you'll also need your sticker sheet that came in the paper packet. All right, um, I think, oh, also those embellishments and some pink dots. And I think we're ready to go. So if you uh, are just um, watching this video for the first time, um, you can still get these um, products online at juliescott.closemyheart.com. And then I will email you the workshop guide that has all of the dimensions and everything for you to cut the projects. It's just a little freebie, and thank you for ordering on my website um, during the month of January. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start with these two right here. We might as well start with that big heart, and I'm going to grab the pieces. So we have the flamingo. And I'm going to cut this die cut on this, the um, light side. And then we have our zip strips, a little piece of scarlet, that colored pattern, or you can flip it over. I actually did both. So if you can see, I did the big florals and the small ones, and then our Seabrook. And then we can go ahead and start on this card. Um, Let's grab our die cut machine. And look how cute this heart is. It's the only way to get this um, die cut. I know that makes some people really sad and I'm sorry, um, is to buy it with this stamp set. But let me tell you, oh, before I start, I actually put both of my papers in at the same time um, you should be able to cut both in one pass so you can double up on that and I'm hoping it works because I can't remember if I did that <laughs> the last time and I'm hitting my light and all the things okay sometimes I die cut before our video but it has been kind of a crazy week so I mean when is it not crazy honestly Okay, I'm gonna try not to shake you too much. I can feel it squishing. Um, anyway, so yes, the only way to get that die cut is with the stamp set, but I will tell you that I have really enjoyed this stamp set. I don't always love every stamp set. <laughs> oh, let me fix, let me fix you. There we go. Um, if I said I did, I'd be lying. Um, but you learn to, it's like children. No, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It's like children, you learn to love them. Um, no, this one was actually a lot, when I started playing with it, it was super fun. And um, I'm really glad I got it. So for the second one, you might have to take your little tool and poke those out. 
So maybe you don't want to do two at a time. But usually it is just fine, but maybe for these these really um, intricate ones. Okay, I am going to just set that aside and I will just finish one of the cards so you don't have to see me poke out all of those little pieces because they're the same, just a little bit different. Okay, let me grab my card base. Oh, we do need to stamp on this one. So we're going to stamp Happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna grab my block and my stamp set. So I'm left-handed, so having this right here is like throwing me off. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. And you can actually stamp whatever sentiment you want in there. There's, it's so big that pretty much anything fits in that heart, or you can leave it plain. Totally up to you. It's your card. You can do what you would like. Um, if your stamp set is new, just go ahead and season that. And I stamped in Scarlet. And I'm going to want the squishy to go underneath that so I get a nice crisp image. Um, I'm sorry if I'm a little frazzled today. Um, I don't usually like to talk about sad things, but my really good friend passed away in this past week and her funeral is today. So I'm going doing this craft day and then I'm going to go to her funeral later today. Um, but so if my well if i'm a little more flustered than normal <laughs> that is probably why it's just been an emotional week and um it was a tough it was a tough loss um she's amazing lady her name's jill i oh there goes my chamois i met her through close to my heart um we roomed together and then we became really good friends and uh, she was she was a good time, so I'm really gonna miss her. Um, but anyway, enough with the sad. <laughs> we have our Happy Valentine's Day stamped, and she loved to craft, so I'm sure she is happy as a clam that we are crafting this morning, and um, we'll go celebrate her this afternoon. So. Okay, so I'm going to do the flower at the bottom and then the zip strip. And you'll have two, but I'm just going to finish one because I didn't want to poke out all of those um, little die cut thingies. And then we have our Seabrook. And I'm using the dark side, so I'm putting the glue on the light. Just layering, layering them up. And then we have our scarlet. And I probably shouldn't be putting glue on right on top of my card. <laughs> Living dangerously today. Okay, and then we can put our heart on there. You can use 3D foam if you would like. I'm just going to attach it right to the card base. So cute. And then grab our stickers. And I did two different ones. I have the large with the leaf, or I have these two. And I think I'll do these two. They're right there in the center. They're already layered up for you. Just perfect because if you've watched my last videos, <laughs> you know that I'm not very good at clusters. But I've been working on our February craft day projects this week as well, and um, I was very impressed with myself and my clusters. So I will give you a sneak peek of that at the end of the day or end of our time together. Um, okay, so I just put some 3D foam on there. I used this thin. So it's not so bulky, but it gives that a little bit of dimension. And I'm just going to add that right underneath my sentiment. Okay, and we are done with card number one.
You'll have two of them, but like I said, because I messed up. <laughs> we'll do one. All right. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside and I'll finish those later. So card number two is this one right here. I love, love, love this one. I love the the um, the dark red and the hearts. Um, and this one is going to be the same, but we're going to have to do some die cutting. So let's see. Okay, so you'll have two different sizes of um, white squares. The smaller squares are for your card, okay? These larger ones, we're going to be cutting out the roses. And then we have um, two of the hearts, two of smaller size, and that goes with, I have these random ones. I'm not sure where those go. <laughs> oh, it goes on here. There we go. And then um, our scarlet. So I must have messed up because look, they're different. This one has it, this one doesn't. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get this die cutting done. So we're going to do the rose, which really doesn't look like a rose until you add that stamp, right? And our little mat. Do you guys have, um, do you guys like the thin cuts? Let me know in the comments. Um, do you, what, and what type of die cutting machine you have. I know I've asked before, but the Cricut one, is it Cricut? Cuddlebug went out of stock. And so I got the close to my heart one, which I'm super happy about. And I'm just not saying that. Um, I really think it's a really nice die cutting machine to move it a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. So I layered two, sorry, I didn't mention that. I layered two on top of each other because this one will cut really well. And then we only have to do it, cut it three times instead of six. So that's what's really nice. Um, with most of our die, our die cuts, you can layer them up. And then we're going to be stamping that rose on there. So fun. I'm not, a, I'm not really a flower person. Um, so that's probably why this stamp set didn't speak to me as much. But the, the layering is so fun and you can do all kinds of different colors and get different looks. And you can you know, do it into, like do yellows and um, for spring, all kinds of things. My grandma actually was an amazing, she had an amazing rose garden. It was gorgeous. And um, oh, I can't remember her favorite rose right now. Um, I'm sure my siblings could tell me, but she had all kinds of roses and then she taught me how to um, take a slip, is it called a slip? And do I need this machine anymore? No. <clears throat> and um, you like take a, a branch off of the rose bush and then you can plant it. So in my first house, she came and did that for me and I had some of her roses in my garden as well. But we have since moved from there, so um, I had to leave them behind. But roses definitely remind me of my sweet grandma. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp these guys. So we're going to need two of those and four of these. And I would recommend using a little squishy mat now that I've laid them all out. <laughs> I tell you, do you guys have those days? I swear, I have them all the time. Okay, and I'm putting like this little, um, like this 
oblong leaf on the bottom or a petal and then I can line it up easier and but that's just me okay so we are going to stamp the base in desert rose and then the detail in scarlet for this middle one and we're only going to do two of them so let's do the base first again if you need to season it go ahead and then you can hopefully see on your stamp there's that oblong looking um, leaf oh yes desert rose okay had a double check and then you can just stamp it right on there you can also stamp and then cut your die cuts completely up to you and I know it's not on there perfect but I've kind of gotten over being perfect with my crafting <laughs> Oh, you kind of have to sometimes. Okay, I'm going to clean it off with my chamois. And then I'm going to just do the bases of these. And it is... Um, <laughs> oh, did I not put it in the... Oh, sorry, the... Ballerina. I put it in the instructions so I wouldn't forget for you guys and for me and stamp it in the ballerina which is a very very light pink so pretty my favorite roses are the ones that are like oh I, I really should look up the name I, it will come to me eventually um, they're like the yellow and then they have the orange tips and like I can like my grandma's probably yelling at me from the grave <laughs> oh goodness yeah it'll come to me okay so now we've got our base now we get to do our detailed stamp which is this one right here so you just put it on your stamp the same with that oblong petal right there and we are going to do flamingo on top of the butter ballerina and you can play around with your colors and um, see what you like best now when you stamp it, this this uh, flamingo is going to be very bright, but as it settles, it kind of um, you can kind of tell that see the difference. It just kind of melts a little bit in there, and it won't be as bright. So sometimes if colors aren't working, you just have to step away for a little bit, and then come back and take a peek at it and see see what they look like. Okay, so then this next one has our scarlet on the top. And we'll leave our scarlet out to stamp our sentiment onto the card base. All right. And it's not perfect, and it's not perfectly lined up, but once they settle and melt together, you can't even really tell. So don't worry too much about that. All right, so let's get our card bases. Let me stick this off to the side. And we're gonna start with the larger heart. Let's do these on the side. Let's do them at the same time. I should have brought my extra mat in here that I use for scrapbooking. It will be coming out later. We're going to do two scrapbook layouts right after this. So stay tuned. Okay, and then this one right here. Um, just a reminder, these videos do stay in the group, so if you're not able to um, participate live, you can come back and watch later. Or if these are new to you and you haven't purchased your products yet, totally fine. There's still time to do that. Um, they're still available. 
and then you can come back and watch the videos and create your projects so we love technology <laughs> and I will add these videos to my YouTube channel which is also craft with Julie and so you can um, find them easily there as well and then this time I put a link to the video hopefully it worked in the chat and um, so you can easily find them there in our event chat so all kinds of fun things that you can do okay so that's the top and then I need to do the hugs and kisses actually you know what I think I need to bring you know what the desert rose needed to go down a little bit it's okay so let's grab our hugs and kisses you don't have to put a sentiment if you don't want to it's totally up to you and we're going to be using scarlet so now this one is like flimsy so what I like to do is just lay it on my mat and then pick it up with my block so it's straight um, helps me keep it straight anyway all right, so let's add hugs and kisses. And do another one right there. All right, let's add our scarlet piece right above that sentiment. And on our second one. And then we have our little white squares. So I'm just going to lay them out so I kind of know where they need to go before I start gluing them. Just have an idea of the spacing. And we can put those down. Leave a little bit of an edge between each of them and on the outside. Okay, and then these ones. So this card, we didn't use any of the stickers, but we did use that layered stamp on it. And we're going to add a little dot next to the hugs and kisses. Just for fun you know let's bring in our roses and we are going to add a little bit of 3d foam on the back just to pop them up a little bit and we're going to put them in the center which color combo do you like the best is it the scarlet and the desert rose or do you like the flamingo and the ballerina. Let me know in the comments. I can't decide. <laughs> I think maybe the desert rose would probably be my favorite. And desert rose isn't one of those colors that I get out very often. It's not one that I gravitate towards, but it was really nice in this kit and um, it went really well with that scarlet. Now I'm lazy and I'm just putting one foam on each. Do you guys like to use 3D foam? I used to not, but now I'm like an avid um, 3D foam <laughs> purchaser. <laughs> I get I get an ad adhesive and a 3D foam every time I place an order. Okay, now we need our dots. And these are just the pink dots. So you get three shades of pink in your package and you get two sheets of um, the two different kinds. So you can decide what color you want to do. And I chose this one in the center. This is kind of a more pink to add right next to the sentiment. Okay, and we have a lot of different colors in these dots. Um, if you've placed an order with me, you might have received a, a little sampling of them in your thank you card. 
Okay, so that is card number two. Um, but I love the dots. I have them all just hanging out on my desk. And if you just need a little something something, there you can um, find any color you need. And they're, they're um, pretty flat, so they're not hard to mail. Okay, so this one is our next card, card number five and six. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at, I'm like, oh, card one and two, three and four, five and six, there we go. Um, let's grab our pieces. So we have Desert Rose, and then we have our pattern paper, and you can use the other side if you would like. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, geez. Maybe I'll do one of each just for fun. And then you'll have some more desert rose and a white piece of cardstock. And then you'll need your embroidered embellishments. And these are something new that Close to My Heart hasn't um, done before. And I was kind of wasn't sure about them, but they are super fun. They're not too bulky. And um, I really like them. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. We're going to do the laugh often, love much, or you can change it up to whatever sentiment you would like. And grab my block. And we're going to be using Desert Rose ink. And you'll want to season it if it's brand new. I've used mine a little bit. <laughs> Laugh often, love much. And this could really be a generic card um, for any time. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's. It's my chamois. I'm trying to stay a little organized, keep things where they in their spots. Okay, so let's grab our card bases. I only need two. There we go. And let's just set them side by side again. We're going to start with the desert rose. And I'd use the light side, so I'm going to put the adhesive on the dark side and attach it to my card base. And those in the center. Super easy. And I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I'm going to flip it over just for fun. Do you ever do that when you're creating and you think it's amazing and then you come back and to recreate it and you're like, oh, I could have done this. Happens to me all the time. Okay, then we're going to use this desert rose in the center. I think it's because I wanted to try to use all the different patterns. Um, I mean, honestly, this pattern right here is a little different and um, I wasn't sure how to incorporate it in a card, but here we are. Let me do the laugh, or yeah, laugh often, love much. Super easy card to put together. I mean, who doesn't love an easy peasy card? Okay, and then our embellishments. These have adhesive on the back. So I use that one and the butterfly. There's two different butterflies. So let's, let me see which one I used. Yep, this one right here. So there's this one that has more of the scarlet. So we're using that somewhere else. So put that back in there. And it has this 3M on the back. So we're just gonna peel that off. And I didn't realize it, but like patches are all the rage. My daughter over the Christmas break um, got some patches with her friend and like added them to a, a sweatshirt. It's like, really? Patches? <laughs> it was actually really comical to watch them try to figure out how to put a patch on something. I watched for a little while and then I stepped in to help before they ruined my my iron, but um, they were doing iron-ons and patches and anyway, it was, it was super fun to watch them try to figure it out. Okay, so that is five and six. 
like, don't they teach this in school anymore? Probably not. <laughs> but I guess it's a thing. Patches. All right. So let's do seven and eight. Love you more. So fun. Okay. So the pieces we need for this one are white cardstock, some desert rose, some ballerina, and these XO um, and heart zip strips. And then our background is this lacy pattern, or you could flip it around and do the um, hearts. Okay, let's stamp our Love You More. And that, I did it one in Scarlet and one in Desert Rose. So you can decide which one you like better. Um, it's hard to tell probably in the camera um, that they're even different, but I think I prefer the Scarlet. It comes out a little bit darker, so that's what I'm going to do. And put these on my squishy mat. And do the Scarlet. And our stamp, love you more. Oh, that one's not big enough. There we go. A little bit bigger block. I just have a stack of blocks sitting here, hoping I grab the right sizes. Okay, you can season it if it is new. We're going, sorry, I put these wrong. We are going to dovetail the bottom. So you'll want them long ways, like this. So it's the two and a half is right here. And we're gonna dovetail the bottom, so you kind of want to stamp this a little bit higher, but not quite towards the top because we're going to add that zip strip across the top, which is good because I just smeared some ink on there. <laughs> okay. And that is all the stamping on that one. So we can put our ink away. And let's go ahead and grab our scissors and we're going to dovetail this. So I just snip up the center and then I meet from edge to edge. And I try to do it in one swoop. Okay, and let's do it with our second one. Just snip up the center. And I'm not doing the exact center, because um, I just guess. But if you want, you can measure it. See, I'm, I'm getting over that perfection thing. All right, so now we're going to do our desert rose on the light side, we're gonna dovetail. And and dovetail the second one. And our ballerina, we're doing the light side as well. Do you guys like Valentine's Day? Let me know in the comments. I'm not a big fan of the day, but I love the crafting and I love the decorations. <laughs> So I don't know, do I, I guess I like it then. <laughs> and the candy, I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate and um, all those little fun gummy candies. Okay, so let's grab two more card bases. And move these out of the way and then we can assemble. We have our pattern paper. We're gonna add that just to the center of our card base. Um, and I like to leave my card bases flat um, to assemble. Uh, if you notice, if you fold it first, sometimes it gets a little, um, it's not always flat, flat. So to me, it's easier to attach everything flat and then um, fold it but that's just me okay so bring this over about a half of an inch ballerina so if you've ever wondered why I 
don't fold it until after that's why. <laughs> and then if you're stamping on it, it's easier to stamp when it's flat too. And we're going to put that right next door to the ballerina. And then right here, whoops. Then we're going to add our banner piece. And about right there. And I'm sure I put the measurements in my instructions, but if you've been around for a minute, you know I don't even follow my own instructions. <laughs> I just write them out for you guys. Um, here we go. Actually, it's really nice to have them, so if I forget, I can reference what we're doing because I create these kind of far in advance and then I come back to do them with you guys and I'm like what did I do I can't remember okay so now we're going to add a little heart um, right here next to that little empty space area and now let's grab our stickers and I use this one right there and then this one right next to it. Let's grab that and of course we're going to add some 3D foam if this won't stick to my finger. And just a couple strips to keep that popped up for us. Okay, and then I'm going to add that right off to the right hand side. It might cover a little bit, but there we go. And then this one right there. And do the same thing, just add some 3D foam. Oh, you know, no, I forgot to mention earlier in the video, um, there are some giveaways today, so make sure you go through and check out the pay, or the Craft with Julie Facebook page. There's a couple giveaways. You just have to um, answer um, a question, easy peasy, and um, you'll be entered to win some of the prizes. And then if you are crafting with us today or in the next couple days, you can share your projects with us um, on a post. So watch for those. There's going to be th three different posts that you can um, enter to win prizes. Okay, so here is seven and eight. All right. I'll draw those prizes on Tuesday. So you have a couple days to um, do that. And for those of you that are watching the replay, I like to give you a couple days. All right, so let's finish up with this one. We have our pieces. So you'll have your um, ledger, pink ledger paper, some desert rose. We're gonna use a dark side, some Seabrook, and some ballerina, okay? And then we are doing Let's see, the stamp we're using is this airmail one. I had to use it. I just love it so much. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love it. So I had to use it on a project. Okay, we're going to be stamping the airmail. And let's see what ink I used. Oh, Flamingo. See, the instructions are helpful. <laughs> And if you place an order on my website during the month of January, I send you this workshop guide for free, or you can purchase it. Um, I'll put a link in the comments. If you want to use your own supplies, there is an option just to purchase the cutting guide, or I, the whole guide actually. You get the cutting, the measurements, pictures, all the, all the things. So we're using Flamingo, 
and I'm just going to stamp it down towards the bottom on the right hand side and we'll do that on our second one Now we can start assembly. Grab this card bases, need two of them. I just have a stack of card bases I leave here on my desk. So let's go ahead and add this one. And you're going to add it to the right hand side, just leaving a border on the top and bottom and the side. And you do the same with this one. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to add, actually, this one we're going to tear. So hold off on this one. We'll add our ballerina. on each one and we're doing the dark side sorry I didn't mention that and then we'll add our desert rose next to that you might overlap a little bit but that's okay just leave a white edge on that side and the same on this one Okay, so now we're going to tear on both sides. So you don't want to tear too much, but it gives us that look going down the side. And then flip it over and do the other way. So Close My Heart's cardstock has this white core, and when you tear it, it exposes it, exposes it so you have this whole different look. Oh, I gotta do more. <laughs> this whole different look um, for the paper. All right, so we can add that in the center. So fun, okay. I was listening to a podcast and they kept saying, cute, cute, cute. <laughs> so I, I'm refraining myself from doing that. <laughs> Everything was cute, cute, cute. Okay. Maybe I should just start saying it. Still, still it from the podcast I was listening to. All right, now we get to embellish with some stickers. And let's see. Okay, so I used this uh, gold heart. I'm like, what? <laughs> What's this color? The gold heart. And I'm going to add some 3D foam to the back. Ooh, doing, doing the layouts today is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm already messing up on the cards and I can't talk. This is gonna be a fun day, guys. All right, then we um, just kind of layer that right over top of the heart that is stamped. So it kind of hides it a little bit. And the heart on this one, let's see. It's a larger gold heart and, oh no, let me see. Oh, you know what it is? It's this one right here. It has gold on the top and the desert rose on the bottom. I'm like, why does that look a different color? That is why. I'm gonna use some 3D foam to pop that guy up. And there we go. Okay, so now we have the cutie pie and the kisses and hugs little banners aren't those cute 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 <laughs> now i've done it i'm going to be doing it okay and then right over top Ta -da. and now we can add a couple little hearts 
So there's fun sprinkling of hearts right here. And I'm just going to add a few. And then one of these little hearts right there. So we have our little cluster of three right there. And then this one is the same. Let's find our hearts. I love our sticker sheets. They're so nice and they're just gorgeous. So I'm really fun to um, craft with them. Okay, so there's our other heart. Okay, those are our last two cards, our airmail. My teenager will really like this card. So we have our card nine and 10. So let me bring in all the cards. We have those two. I love you more. How'd you guys do? Let me know in the comments. Are you able to follow along okay? Um, I try not to go too fast, but sometimes, sometimes it happens. Okay, awesome. So we made those 10 cards today. Again, if you would like the cutting guide, all you need to do is go to juliescott.closemyheart.com and place an order. Um, you can order the supplies or other supplies. It doesn't matter what you order. I will send you the workshop guide either way um, during the month of January and come back in just a little bit and I'm going to um, start on our layouts. So I'll see you in just a little bit.